Hey everyone, so today we have a function w of two variables and we're going to find the derivative with respect to t. Now, I said it's a function of two variables, but you can also think of it as a function of one variable, right? Because x is a function of t, y is a function of t, so w, well, if both x and y are functions of t, so is, so is w. So we're going to do it two ways. First, we're going to do it the long way. We're going to do it the calc 3 way using the multivariable chain rule. So the multivariable chain rule says that for this particular w, dw dt, it's pretty cool stuff. Well, first you take the partial with respect to x. So it'd be del x, sorry, del w, del x times, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So x is a function of t, so it'd be dx dt plus. Then you take the partial of w with respect to y, so del w, del y, times the derivative of the inside. So here y is your inside function, so it's dy dt. Boom. Because y is a function of t. So that's the idea. So when you're finding dw dt, it's the partial with respect to x times the derivative of the inside function, plus the partial with respect to y times the derivative of the inside function. Now, there's an easier way to do this, and we'll do it in a minute, but let's finish this way. So del w del x is simply going to be um, 2x. Okay. And then dx dt, that's going to be 5. Plus del w del y, that's going to be 2y. And then dy dt is just, is just 3. Okay. Now you can plug everything in. x is 5t, so you get uh, 2 times 5t times 5 plus and then 2. And then y is 3t, 3t times 3. So we end up with 10, right? 10 times 5 is 50, so 50t plus 6 times 3 is 18, so 18t. That's going to be 68t. That's dw dt. So finally, dw dt, at the moment in time when t is equal to 2, uh, will be 68 times 2. Uh oh, hard math. Let's see. 60 times 2 is 120. 2 times 8 is 16. Yeah, it's going to be uh, 136. You can check that using the old school method, 68. Let's do it over here. 68 times 2, 2 times 8 is 16, boom, carry the 1, yep, looks okay. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it, let me just erase all this stuff. The other way to do it is just plug everything and watch this. This is a joke, I think. Let's see. X is 5t, so we're going to get 5t quantity squared. Y is 3t, so we get 3t quantity squared. So W, square each piece, 25t squared, 25t squared plus 9t squared, right, square the 3, square the t, so we get 34t squared. Then dw dt, 68t, evaluated at t equals 2, going kind of fast, kind of in a hurry, uh, so you get, uh, same thing, plug in 2, and then you get 136. So two ways to do it, obviously the second way was easier, so why do we even bother with the chain rule? Well, the chain rule has many applications, and mathematics, it's extremely important to understand it, and uh, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. That's it.